Let's continue the conversation with Armstrong Williams, the host of the Armstrong Williams Show, again, Skyping in from the nation's capital. Uh, we touched on the whole notion of body cameras earlier. Uh, do you think that is a, is a positive sign? That's something oh. needed? Oh, absolutely it works. There's no question. Um, the results are in. 83 to 90% of the time when their cameras are on, the police are at their best behavior, and oftentimes the, the so-called victim is at their best behavior. And even for the body camera, people think that it's only for the people that are making the accusations against law enforcement, but it also protects law enforcement because sometimes what the media will report is a certain frame of what took place and it looks as though that the law enforcement is at fault but if you further look at the frames uh, of, of the camera you could see that this 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 person just just hit the police officer in the face and that was not shown in the beginning and as you look at the fullness of it you begin to realize that the officer was absolutely correct in the actions that he took in that situation so it protects both it is important to the context and events actually as they happen uh, another type of cameras in, in another context Text. during the protest that turned riots, sadly in some cases uh, uh, Thanksgiving week in Ferguson, with the cameras there and the media attention, how many of the, uh, the protesters do you believe came in from outside, for lack of a better term, Armstrong, outside agitators? You know, listen, I actually believe this reminds me of the, of the Wall Street protests where they used to go from city to city, New York and Washington, D.C. I actually think that these protesters are organized. I actually think they're encouraged to protest and riot because they have a greater agenda um, that we're not able to see yet. And I think as more and more of this is unveiled and the media backs down and decides to report the fullness of the story, much of this will find out. But, you know, but to me, that point is muted, Congressman, by the fact, and this is what's so troubling, troublesome to many Americans like myself, is the fact that you don't need cameras in instances like that. You have the National Guard, you have law enforcement actually watching these people loot, steal, destroy, burn down, and they did absolutely nothing. How in the world, and you know something happened higher up, somebody had to tell them, just like what is happening with our military today, they tie their arms behind their backs so they cannot do their jobs. You cannot allow these criminals to further criminalize and destroy businesses and destroy property as they did. So I shirt and, and shiver in, in my shoes when I think about the image of law enforcement and the National Guard just standing back and a lot of these looters to just get away scots free. What does that tell us? Where are we going as a nation? And, and again, you raised a point that in a minute left, who? Who's behind it? We, we know there's a partisan divide between the governor, a Democrat, Jay Nixon, in Missouri and his Republican lieutenant governor. The lieutenant governor was saying, now, wait a minute, there's the guard called out. But they, uh, the first night they were not there on time. And he, he suggested there might be uh, some sort of complicity or request from the president and the attorney general. Who do you think was behind the absence of force despite the presence of the guard? You don't have to ask. That could have only come from the White House and the Justice Department. No other place could, could you override a governor, state law enforcement, where they sit back and are useless. It had to come from the White House. That is not even somebody, something someone has to think about. It's just common sense. Fair enough. And on that note of common sense, a man noted for his common sense why we have him so often. Armstrong Williams, we thank you for your time and your input today. Thank you, Congressman. Good to hear from Armstrong. And there is more straight ahead on America's Forum.